Speaker has some nerve to quote a 9% reduction. What he doesn't tell Canadians is that the economy contracted by 5% at the same time. So, if this is their plan to reach a 45% reduction, that means the economy has to contract 25%. When they tell you who they are, Mr. Speaker, believe them. That's their plan for the economy. When will they admit this disastrous program is only hurting Canadians? The Honourable Minister of Tourism. It must really be tough to be a Conservative these days, because, Mr. Speaker, there's nothing so devastating for a Conservative for the facts to get in the way of a good economic reality. Mr. Speaker, 150,000 jobs in January alone, 326,000 new jobs since September, the lowest GDP ratio in the world. Mr. Speaker, we're on path to grow this economy. They don't want to help Canadians. We do. That's our plan. We've got one. We're going to deliver. The Honourable Member for Dufferin Caledon. When you've absolutely lost the argument, Mr. Speaker, you try and change the channel. So let's get back to the channel. 35% of Canadians right now, after eight years of this Liberal government, say they find it hard to make ends meet every single month. 25% of Canadians say if they get an expense of $500, they can't pay it. That's eight years of this government. It is pushing Canadians to bankruptcy. When will they admit that's what they're doing? And if they won't fix it, get out of the way, because I'll tell you, we will. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, it seems that my colleagues across the way have amnesia when they were cutting checks for millionaires instead of helping Canadian families. Exactly. That's yeah. why we introduced in 2016 the CCB. The CCB has helped over 3.5 million families in this country, 6 million children. 435,000 children lifted out of poverty, Mr. Speaker. When these Conservatives are busy cutting, we're making sure Canadians' families' are, needs are being met. Mr. Speaker, they have a lot to learn. The Honourable Member for Lapointe.